Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Big Al here. I'm here today to show you my bug out bag. So that way when shit hits the fan, I'm ready. Well, as best as I can be. So, what I'm going to do is run you guys through what I have in my bug out bag. What I'm planning to also pick up in the future to round out my bug out bag and help make it more of a long-term survival bug out bag than just a four or five days a day survival bag and um, yeah so let's just get into it okay what you guys see here is the contents of my bug out bag what I have is basically first things first is A radio it's a chargeable radio it has a hand crank so it powers itself you don't have to worry about you know batteries or running out of power little AM FM and it has a weather channels on it a little antenna you can also store a charge on in the battery of this and plug in your tablet or cell phone in there and it's solar powered you could crank it or you could solar power it has a little hook that you can hook it on a tree or something and just let the sun just hit hit the panel here yeah I've got that in conjunction with this particular lap, this particular um, tablet. The good thing about this tablet that I like is that it actually has a full USB port. I don't know if you can see it there, but it has a full USB port right there. So I could plug my external hard drives in to this and this LG tablet does everything a laptop or a full-size computer could do and the, the the battery life lasts for like hours and the charging takes like one hour so yeah I've got that in my kit can't forget about water now I pick this up on Amazon I believe and it's the what is this the iCore I think it's called uh, what is the name name on it uh, I don't see the name on it but basically it has a charcoal filter it has a charcoal filter inside so just pop pop the lid open just boom pop it open and just start drinking purifies the water also what you could do is just to get a little extra purification in the water is drop a couple of purification tablets inside the water shake it up and drink now that's one of the things that I have to also get is purification tablets I'm planning to pick up purification tablets and those mini cloths that you just get them wet and they fold out into like a huge towel I think they're called uh, wet towels some, some sort of special wet towels I'm planning to pick up those for defense I've got this pocket shot there it is right there it's a like a BB gun type of thing steel balls if you can see that you know use that keep that for a little bit of defense or if I have to do some hunting you know play some small, small game with that maybe a you know rabbit or something my little combat knife which also has as you can see here 
my bare grills compact multi-tool and it fits perfectly inside the sheath the sheath came with this extra little pocket and I just drop that in boom boom drop it all in if I need to do anything else you know it's right there the knife I really love this knife it's pretty good I don't really use a lot of knives, but the ones that I have used weren't as solid as this. One full piece of metal, all metal. The only thing I didn't like is the serrated edges. I didn't like that. I wanted all straight edge. That way if you have to stab into something, it doesn't get stuck on the edges. You know? And stab into something and then pull it out it doesn't get stuck stuck on the edges but most likely it probably won't and this is a charade made by charade these guys make <laughs> make uh, really good knives got a little compass tell me directions where I need to go and another uh, what's this is a thermometer little mini thermometer on here if you can see that and the compass now when you're looking for a compass the best thing you can do is find a compass that doesn't have any air bubbles in it if they have a any air bubbles in it you may as well throw it away a piece of crap. Uh, you can look up why that is. Um, I actually found this. At, found out about you know the air bubbles in in the um, compass from watching a few other people who were on YouTube talking about the same thing, saying that if it has air bubbles in it, it it won't really be as accurate. I forgot the whole science behind it. I can't go into the whole science behind it because I don't remember it. But he was like, the, the people were like, yeah, it, it's not as accurate. This has no air bubbles. So I also have another compass that I use. The soul. SOL, so shit out of luck. I have this little mini kit. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it. it. Has little tips on what to do and how to use the the kit. It comes with um, little rope that you can use for maybe fishing, maybe fishing, or maybe putting up a tent or a little lean-to. Some quick, uh, some uh, tinder, tinder, some quick tinder, I believe it's called. Uh, fishing line, hook line, sinker, you know, some bobby pins, tin foil, great for using to, to um, reflect the heat of the campfire back at you or use it for, you know, other, other, other things that, you know, you may need it for. Um, it also has a little mirror, a signal mirror that you can use. Hey, there I am. <laughs> use this little signal mirror. And on the back, it has a little light, LED light. flip-out knife. It's really small, kind of like a little razor. This will be good to shave off, uh, make shavings for kindling for a fire. A 
locks into place. Right there. And this is the other compass I was telling you about. No no bubbles, no air bubbles at all. This right here is to start a fire. Right. Thing about this I believe you cannot replace the flint that's in there, but it's still good in emergency. Alright, got that. Have another light source right here. Another little mini light source with a signal whistle and a compass that's in this one. Now this one doesn't have any water in it. This one doesn't have any water in it. It's a little whistle, a little light, and a little compass. This compass, no water, but it's accurate. There's a lot of compasses that don't have water in it and are actually accurate. Let's sharpen up my knife. Got a little sharpener, sharpening stone on it, grazing stones, sharpen it up, and sure it up. And I've got this. This may look like an ordinary freaking uh, paracord bracelet, but it's not. Woven into this paracord bracelet is an entire an entire uh, first uh, bug out kit it's all wrapped up inside of this I got this from um, what is the name of this place I'll put the link in the description the make the the name of this uh, where I got this bracelet but it I paid like uh, I think a hundred bucks for it it's worth it as far as I'm concerned, it's worth it. You have ranger bands right here, and right here, and right here. Inside, you have fish hook, line, antiseptic. Um, these are uh, tubings that you could use to for like a tourniquet. You could use that for like a tourniquet, or you could sip water through these straws. On this side, you have um, what else? Fishing hooks, I think, on this side, or something like that. And this right here is a little compass. And that's a little compass right there. It's really good. When I had the money, I made sure to buy this. And there's actually a, a belt that you wear around your waist that has even more stuff. I bought that. And I'm wearing it right now. This one is an ordinary paracord bracelet, but it has a fire start of a fire starter on it. Let me see. Yeah. I'm not too good with this one, but it's there if I really have to. There's a little flint and fire starter, a little whistle, signal whistle. It's good, good in emergency. I also have some zip ties, good 10 zip ties in case I got to zip tie stuff. And there's a trick to un unzipping these because most times people don't know, you know how to unzip them and once you put them in. But there's a way to unzip them by just uh, taking a little knife, pulling that little lever there, and then pulling it out. These are underwater matches. They work underwater. I actually tested it. Get them wet. Pull them out. I shouldn't say they work underwater. I should say they uh, they work when wet 
So you can get them totally saturated and then strike it and it lights up instantly. I actually tried that. It's pretty good. Next, what I have is this Lumatac light. Now this freaking light is awesome. It's so freaking bright. I took out the batteries because I noticed that whenever you leave batteries in something that you're not using that long, it tends to like leak or something. So I made sure to take out the batteries. Now some of you may be saying, well, in an emergency situation, you may need to see what you're doing. You don't have a light instantly. Well, that's what this little sucker is also here for. Redundancy. This little guy is a self self-charging dynamo charging um, flashlight. Give it a couple of pumps and it keeps the charge and it charges up and then you have light. And it stays nice and lit. If it starts to wear out, give it a couple of press and you're good. Lock it in place so that way you don't accidentally, you know, use it while you're it's in your bag. I've got uh, some fishing line. You can use this to stitch up a wound, do f some fishing, you maybe even use it for, you know, shelter, tying up, tying off things. You know. I've got some batteries for, as you can see right here, I've got batteries right here for this particular light. I have some quick tinder, some tinder, these are all tinder. And this is a, ch a little saw, a little mini saw. Put your hands there, you, you wrap it around, and you just saw a little branch or twig or something off. It's, you know, a little br a branch or something. Or it could shave through a whole tree. I've seen them, like, shave through, not a whole big tree, but, like, one of those skinny little trees, you know? So, you've got that. I've got uh, earplugs, uh, some more fishing line and fishing gear that goes along with this. The fishing gear goes along with it, so that way I can do some fishing. I've been studying on how to, to actually do that. I actually want to, you know, put that into practice, but. Out here in Staten Island, there's um, Clove Lakes and Silver Lakes Park. They don't allow you to fish in those waters, so I can't test it out. I have tested out a lot of this in the park out, out there. Um, right now, this is um, emergency blankets. I've got, what is this, about two of them. One, two, and a reflection mirror in here also. As you can see, you can see how big they are. Uh, let me see if we can get that in focus. There you go. Yeah. I've got uh, about a good 20 feet of paracord. Actually, I think it's 30 feet of paracord, I'm not sure. And another 10 feet of paracord. mosquito netting because I hate freaking mosquitoes but that's not going to stop them from chewing up my arms but I got that anyways another light source oh oh sorry didn't mean to blind you guys out there A little light source yeah that you can wear around your head walk around with it on your head or your hat And I've got the Bear Grylls Gerber Survival Kit.
comes in this bag. It's waterproof, water resistant, I should say. I don't think it's waterproof. I think it's water resistant. Yeah, wa water resistant. Now this is definitely waterproof. All right, look at that. I've got another another um, blanket, emergency blanket in here. I'm not going to pull out everything in here. Uh, sewing whistle, uh, survival a little survival um, manual that's in here. A little survival manual whistle that. Uh, fire starter. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little fire starter right there. Uh, I've got uh, some more rope. I don't I don't remember how long, how big this rope is, but it's pretty big. More fishing line, a little mini little I don't see if, see if you can see that. It's a little mini uh, multi-tool right here. Uh, more what is this? Looks like some sort of rope and matches and a few other knickknacks in here. Good, good stuff to have on hand, you know. And as far as it goes for bags, right now I'm using a standard old book bag from PAL. I'm using that to house some of my stuff until the actual bug out bag that I want gets here in the mail. I had bought this and I thought it would have been a, a little bit bigger but silly me I didn't pay attention to the size when I saw it. I just saw that it was cheap it looked awesome and I bought it. I think I bought it for three dollars on Geek. There's an app for for your cell phones and tablets called Geek, and I got a lot of stuff on there from there. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Some of the things that I want to pick up, like I said, is the water purification tablets and some uh, better bags, a couple of uh, like uh, MRE rations. And another thing that I'm planning to get and put in here is, um, it's called a pocket, pocket seasoning kit. I'll put the link in the description for the pocket seasoning kit, I believe it's called, from, uh, uh, what is it called? It's a very nice website where they talk about colonial times and stuff like that. But they have a spice kit that I'm going to get. It's like $10. And I'm going to put like some seasoning in there. So that way I can always have the seasoning. Also, I'm picking up um, a small, um, small, um, what do you call it? Uh, self, not self, um, wood burning stove. It's a mini wood burning stove. That you, it's like about yay big. It's a mini wood burning stove. Put it right in there. It fits perfectly in there, along with uh, some cooking utensils. Really small stuff that fit in there. And yeah, that's about it. There's a few other things. Like I said, there's a few other things. But um, for right now, money is a bit tight. You know, gotta pay bills. But that's basically uh, most of the stuff that I have and that I'm going to put up, put in to the bug out bag. Okay, so now that you saw what was in my bug out bag, the next thing that I want to get is maybe a quick little um, tarp. That way I can make a small makeshift, shel makeshift shelter out of it. Um, I've seen a few of them. I've ordered one from Geek. Uh, it's about two, three dollars for a, uh, I forgot how big it is. It's, it's pretty big. It's, it's huge, like the size of maybe two queen size beds. That's how big the tarp is. Um, I have that on the way. It cost me like a dollar 
plus shipping and handling, it's like three dollars. Um, I also ordered those uh, water purification tablets. Those were also like maybe about ten, fifteen dollars with shipping and handling for about three or four hundred of them. They come in a bag, all uh, lined up and everything. Very nice to have. Um, also, I've also put in an order for the little round towels that I was telling you about. The little round towels, you get them wet and they expand and they fold out into big durable uh, cloth tablet, uh, cloth um, towels that you can dry yourself off with or use it for, you know, maybe a tourniquet or something or whatever, you know, whatever you use a, a normal towel for. Um, there, there's a lot of other things that I, I've seen in other people's bug out bag videos that I've incorporated into mine. Most of this stuff that I, that you saw here, I got bits and pieces of these, these things that's in my bug out bag from those other videos. Um, I really like some of these guys' videos and I figured I'd make one for for myself and for my friends and family so that way you guys could see what what I have and maybe go out and pick up pick up some uh, stuff for yourself to make sure everything is you know set and ready to go uh, another thing I'm trying I'm trying to do is keep my pantry stocked keep my food level stocked and rotate them out um, one of the YouTubers that I was listening to, he's also on a budget, much like me, and he made sure to stock in a certain way and rotate it out. He would eat and use what he's stocking up. So you put the newer stuff to the back, the older stuff for, forward, and eat that and rotate it and keep it rotating. And that's what I'm trying to do on putting that into practice. Also, as I said, I, I go out to Clove Lakes Park at night sometimes, uh, or Silver Lakes Park at night, and I, I'll i spend the whole, almost the whole night in, the, in, in that forest area just practicing. Making a little fire here, practicing there, you know, going out making sure I know my bushcraft, you know, I have my tablet, I get online, look, okay, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, and I practice as best as I can, you know, and that's something I would recommend for everybody to try and do. If you're going to get into this and you're going to and you're gonna try and learn how to do this, you're going to need some hands-on experience, you know, and I try my best to do, do that. I do it every so often. Matter of fact, yesterday, last night I came back. From doing that, I'm gonna try and shoot a video while when I'm when I'm out there, so that way you can see what I'm doing and see how it how I, I do it and maybe give me some pointers, you know, like hey, you know, you notice you did this, maybe you could do that, you know. Um, but yeah, this is my video, guys. I made this video for you guys so that way you guys could see it and tell me what you think, you know. All right, see you guys later. Peace.